What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build some Indonesian locomotives. So here we have the CC206, and right over here we have the CC203. Now they're also known as the GE CF20 EMP, which is really hard to say, and the GE U20C. And they serve in the Indonesian Railway, and they are narrow gauge engines, so that's why they use a 4 block wide track. And uh, yeah, I really want to make this video since I have a lot of Indonesian viewers and they are my third largest demographic after uh, the United States and the UK. And I want to make this video to thank them in a way. So yeah, let's start off with the CC206. So let's build a gray wall two blocks wide on top of the tracks. And you want to make another segment on top that's four blocks wide. And we want to make this uh, 23 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 23. And you want to do the same thing that you did in the back as the front, and you just want to extend this line for the floor in the middle. <clears throat> And uh, you can also choose to have red buffers, but right now I'm just going to do uh, the black ones or the gray ones. Um, and they, I think in the real life they look uh, black, but I put gray because I think a black you wouldn't, it doesn't look that great, honestly, compared to gray. Because the color is just off. Anyways, we're just going to put these stone buttons on the sides. Like that, these are going to be the lights. And let's add a stone brick slab right there it's for the coupling. And since it is four blocks wide, there is no real center, so you just want to pick one side to do it on. And I just picked uh, this side. And that's also consistent with my Japanese trains, which are also narrow gauge. And then on top of here, let's add a quartz block four blocks wide. And just uh, make it four blocks wide on the sides too and also like that so it's like a giant square now let's do that on that side as well and then let's take a stone brick slab just line that up under here right next to uh, the floor on the sides and in a way this is kind of part of the floor Alright, so once we're done with that, let's add uh, the front, um, the windows. Now this is kind of hard to do <laughs> when I first came up with it, because usually I do it with the glass blocks like that. And uh, I decided, yeah, I wanted the center pillar, because that's a really important detail. So that's why I used quartz stairs like that. We just want to make the window shape like this and uh, we can have the actual windows behind it which are just black stained glass like that and it looks pretty fine to me and uh, you want to add the windows inside so it's two blocks wide uh, you can fill this in if you want to and fill the back in with quartz and then let's add a stone slab to the top that and we should probably do this to the back so let's go over there and add uh, the windshield again just with the stairs to the front so you have this shape looks like a really stretched out W and let's add the black stained glass like a 2 by 4 and a block of quartz in the back and on top let's add a layer of stone slab and in the middle let's make it double same thing in the front and let's add uh, the lights or the whatever details that's on top which is a skeleton skull over here and the lights are just uh, stone buttons like that and that's what it looks like doing the same thing in the back and let's add uh, the mirrors on the sides near the front and the back like that and then if you want to you can add this uh, red wool 
they have like this symbol uh, you can add it to the front also but I just add it to the sides so one like that and the other one is near the front and let's do that to the other side if you want to uh, you don't have to so like that you know this one didn't add it alright so the next step is let's just fill in the rest of the roof with stone slabs just make it double going all the way across and make it two blocks wide of course and once you're done with that let's add some more details like the wheels so let's take um, hoppers right over here and just add uh, one wheel one pair of wheels here skip one add another pair of wheels skip one add another pair of wheels so this is going to be uh, three axles in the front and three axles in the back and I believe that's how they came up with the name CC that means Coco I think <laughs> which is something to do with the axle wheels how the, it's like arranged like this and in the middle of the wheels we want to add a stone brick slab I'll leave the space over there near the front and the back like that and in the middle part there's going to be like this little box so let's add that as well uh, make it four blocks wide like a three by four like that and then let's add this front layer or actually let's add this one uh, this uh, banner for the window door and to make that first we need to get a crafting table a black banner and a bow meal and we're gonna place the black banner like that then take a bow meal just add that around the banner so that it has a white border and then we're going to build a 2x3 of bow meal at the bottom of the banner and then we have this banner like that and we just going to put it right over here like that and then let's add the layer of a block of quartz it should be the same on both sides actually so let's start from the back part and it's just going to be a block of quartz I'm going to have the vents which is a 2x2 two two of uh, bedrock and then it's like a block of quartz again then a block of bedrock now let's go to the front add two um, quartz like that and then two bedrocks and the rest is just a block of quartz and I'm doing this on both sides at the same time like that and right at the back we want to have like this tiny uh, blue stripe over here the bottom and we're gonna use that orange and that orange is orange hard and clay we're just gonna have that line up the rest of the way on the sides so it looks like that and then let's add uh, let's add the ladders so we're going to take gray wool and we're going to skip this one over here place gray wool like that on either side then we're going to do the same thing in the back we're just going to skip this part place uh, gray wool and on that gray wool is the ladder and we're just going to place it like that right on the side and then we're going to have um, the railings for the ladder. Just put that on either side of the ladder and we're going to add an extra one like that near the center one. So it looks like this. Do that to both sides. So yeah, it looks like that. And let's add the horn on top, which is just an iron trap door. Place that right on top of there like that. Which... <laughs> It's kind of short and then let's add a ladder and this is going to be for the vent design 
So it's not an actual ladder, it's just a vent. Just gonna have that right over here. And uh, is is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it for the CC206. Now you can also make it in a red color if you want to. So that's really easy to do. You just uh, replace the front and the back with it. And now let's build the CC203. Alright, so let's build the CC203. Now we're going to start off with two red blocks right on top of the tracks. And then we're going to add a four block wide on top of that. And then we're going to add gray wool, uh, two of them to the back of that. And you want to make this segment 18 blocks long. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the same thing on the other side. And then you want to add the buffers uh, right at the back. Uh, then we're going to take stone brick stairs, just add that to the bottom corners. And we're going to take uh, stone button, just add that to the sides and that's going to be the lights and same thing in the front like that actually you don't want to you don't need the stone buttons in the front uh, what you're going to do is place a stone slab across uh, four blocks wide like that and then let's add the coupling which is right under here we want to leave this gap and in the back part uh, we want to have that like that and uh, let's see, let's take a stone brick slab, just line up the sides for the floor, like that. And let's make the front. So let's take a block of quartz, just add that lined up in the front, and uh, add five. Make this uh, part five, so one, two, three, four, five. Line that up and uh, you want to add uh, the windshield which is using uh, quartz stairs like this. I could actually fill this block of quartz in like that and uh, right behind it let's add a 2x4 of black stained glass. Add a block of quartz after that and you can actually fill this area in. And then let's go to the back part and just add a 2x2 two like so and then on top of it let's add stone brick slab like that a double and make that go all the way to the front and you can also make it double so I'm just going to do uh, one layer at a time Add, add that to the sides as well and then let's add the mirrors right over here next to the stairs and then the next step is adding uh, two blocks of quartz so I'm gonna do both sides at the same time so two quartz and then we're gonna take bedrock for the vents add two of those then uh, we're gonna go to the back and add I make this segment four blocks long so one two three four and that's going to be one bedrock right there and for the uh, the bottom we're going to add two bedrocks like that and the rest it should just be a block of quartz and we're going to use that orange hardened clay like right over here just fill this stripe in And I definitely have seen them in other colors, but this is just the one that I'm making right now. I think it's from the Argo, one well, of the Argo crane, the Argo trains, I mean. And uh, let's see, let's add gray wool and a ladder. We're going to add the ladders to the sides. So right over here, we're going to skip one here, uh, replace that with gray wool. And in the back, we just replace the end one like that, that ladder. And of course on the ladder we're going to add the railings on top, right next to it. Same thing in the back one. 
and this time we don't have to add these double iron bars like that we can just leave it alone and then let's take a ladder just add uh, that like right here alongside this vent on both sides so like that and then let's add the horn on top which is just an iron trap door right around here and then let's add the light so get a stone button just add two in the front and two in the back we can't use the skeleton skulls in the back because there's no room so I'm just gonna leave that in the front right over here so it looks like this alright so let's make the bottom part so go over here I'm gonna add uh, double hoppers I skip one double hopper skip one double hopper and then do the same thing in the back so we're not going to leave a space between the front and the back uh, I mean <laughs> between the wheels and the ends since this is slightly uh, smaller than the 206 so it should look like that and then we're going to add these uh, stone uh, slabs between the hoppers like that and also in the middle and we want to have these two sticking out like that like so and that should be pretty much it on how to build the CC203 and yeah that's how you build the Indonesian uh, locomotives I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.